Just enjoy the Chiefs with a quarterback that's reading the whole field. The Rams are doing it. Kerry Collins, the, some of the guys have been around. Brett Favre can do it. But it's, it is a dying art form, and it's not the quarterback's particular fault. It's really the fault of the fact that football is choreography. It's a dance step. Okay. And if you can't practice it, well, then we'll just run the football because we can do that. So you're telling me Re McNair and Manning, the type of year they're having, really enjoy it. You've always really said work it. at your craft. The quarterback your craft is, is being told me lost. That There's no question about so that. No question about it. Meantime, can, can we sing again off. another song? Ready? Yeah, go ahead. Well, I won't say it. John Cougar Mellencamp sang it, all right? Yeah. I was born in a small town, a great town, mm -hmm. in Iowa. There's a small town high school, Applington Parkersburg in Iowa. It's awfully big time when it comes to producing NFL big guys. Uh, four of them, Chief Center Casey Wegman, Jaguars guard Brad Meester, Lions defensive lineman Jared DeVries, and Packers D lineman Aaron Campman are in action today. More than enough reason for our Kenny Maine to go to the main event to come from Iowa cornfields. <laughs> the population of Parkersburg, Iowa is 1889. 1890 now that <laughs> Mrs. Johnson had her baby. It's expected Gavin will grow up to be an NFL player, the town's largest export. Except for corn. With four players from Parkersburg currently in the league, it's the equivalent of New York City producing 16,949 players for the NFL. But that's silly. New York's a basketball town. Boys and girls, today's lesson is 65 toss power trap. We've amended the Iowa test of basic skills just a bit. When kindergartners walk through the door, they're required to know how to break a huddle. Ready, break! And by the first parent-teacher conference, they need to deliver a 500-word essay on what's challengeable under the NFL replay rules. Show of hands, who can name two hot routes against Blitz? Cody. Slant and fade. Challenge us, Mrs. Vanderholt. Most of the parents find her to be very demanding. Recently, on a test, my son answered with the word fridge, and she marked it incorrect. On that test, William Refrigerator Perry was the only acceptable answer. She may be stern with the youngsters, but Mrs. V's lessons last a lifetime. Oh, yeah, I remember Mrs. Vanderholt. Matter of fact, I was attracted to her, but I respect her. Quarterback's going to come down the line right here. The training continues to yield results. For the ninth straight season, the Falcons made the state playoffs. College recruiters know the next Casey Wiegman may be on the field. Wiegman's mother works at a Parkersburg church. Listen, Buster, the way they pigeonhole our boys is criminal. They always got to be linemen. We got stinking skill position players around here, too. My son can handle the rock. One time, Casey broke off an eight-yard return against the Cardinals. And they called Dante Hall the human joystick. Others believe the whole town has been slighted. Plain and simple, Parkersburg ought to have an NFL franchise. They're always talking about L.A. Who's the last player to ever come out of L.A.? Cade McNown? Plus, we've already got a stadium built. I guess we can consider putting on a few more luxury boxes. I might be the only coach that hands out game balls to a kindergarten teacher, but I'll tell you what, by the time I get the kids, the only thing I have to worry about is distractions from the cheerleaders. This town really instills pride in its players. We must protect this house. We must protect this house. We must protect this house. Can't hear you. We must protect this house. That's wow. a good stuff. I, I, that's <laughs> that was a great four, four linemen, but you can oh. see why. With teachers that get it and that kind of fun in class, whatever the subject matter, it makes learning fun. Even if it's football, thou shalt not run a six-yard route on third and eight. I'll, I, I'll never forget it. Mortimer, if you were a kid from Iowa, I know you'd leave with offensive line news, wouldn't you? What do you uh, have? Well, I would actually, there's a lot of news out of uh, Houston and Buffalo game. Paul Burmeister in for Rick Holman this evening. Breakfast at the Unidome this morning came with an all-Eastern Iowa 2A semifinal. Applington, Parkersburg, and Solon both shooting for a spot in Saturday's championship. Solon head coach Kevin Miller, he knows what winning a state title is all about. He was the Spartans' starting quarterback when they last won it in 1988. This year's quarterback, sophomore Nick Yordy, working the option, pitches to Cody Kroll, one leap, one cut, and a full head of steam later. It's 7-0 Solon after the first. 
The Spartans would add two second quarter touchdowns, including this Yordy fade to Aaron Haydenfield. Nice adjustment, and Solon took a commanding 21-0 lead. Coach Thomas's Falcons, though, not just going to go away. Back they come with two scores before the break. Nice connection here from Andy Jacobson to Levi Whitmire, and it's a ball game again at halftime, 21-14. But Solon would own the second half. Yordy rolling right off the play action. Haydenfield going to cross right in front of us. Yes, he's open. Yordy spots him, fires a strike, and Solon lead back to 28-14. They added two more touchdowns for good measure to double up AP to today, 42-21. They'll play Emmitsburg in the 2A final on Saturday. You know, this has been a, a process that's encompassed, you know, two or three years um, since I've arrived. And they've done the things that we've asked, and now they're, they're in a position to bring home the hardware. And um, I'm happy for them. We've worked this the whole year. It's all coming down to one game. It's paying off for us little by little. Hopefully we'll get it in the end. Another strong season for Ed Thomas and his AP Falcons finishes at 10 and 2, just one step short of another championship game. Today, the Big Ten Honor 2 Hawkeyes.